Hi everyone, it's Nicole here for Lawn Fawn with a caramel apple of my eye card to share with you. Mixing and matching lots of Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. Um, I've mentioned it before, one of my very favorite things about Lawn Fawn is how well everything works together. We're going to start by taking the newly released Caramel Apple mini stamp set and we are going to stamp two of the Caramel Apple and one of the little Haribo from this stamp set on some smooth white cardstock. While we're stamping that, we're going to take the apple images from thanks a bushel this was released at least a couple years ago it's one of my very favorite stamp sets and we're going to stamp those apples as well that's what's going to create this great little collection of apples that we have on the card today so just going to make sure that i have enough apples i ended up stamping more than what i actually need for the card I do that a lot because sometimes I'm not exactly sure how many I want to use and that way I have plenty. Once I have all of my images stamped, I'm going to take the two face images from Caramel Apple and I'm going to customize just those two images. The smaller apples are going to be more of a supporting type of image for this card where the focal point is on the two Caramel Apples. I went ahead and used my Misty to do this again. You definitely don't have to. I'm just in the habit of using this. It makes it easy, especially if I need to stamp them more than once to get their faces nice and dark. We're gonna color them in using a combination of either reds, greens, or yellows for the apple, and then some browns, of course, for the caramel. I'm using our 35, 37, and 39 for the red apples. This is kind of my current favorite red color combination. For the caramel itself, we're going to use E55 and E57. I like to err on the side of lighter first and gradually darkening this up until I kind of get that color combination the way I want it to look. And then to really make their little faces stand out, we're going to add pink cheeks with R20. And that really makes their cute little faces. We'll go ahead and color a couple of the other apples, including the one with the bite out of it, with the same red colors, R35, 37, and 39. That inside part of the apple, I used E40 and E43. I got a little too aggressive with E43 and it got too dark. Um, it really looked like the apple had kind of turned brown. So what I ended up doing to fix that is take a colorless blender and I'm gonna kind of push that ink out. Um, and it just lightened it up enough that I could save my image. I also used E40. 43 and 44 for the stick sticking out of the caramel apple. For the green apple, we're using YG 2123 and 17. And then for the leaves, because I didn't want the leaves to be the same color as the green apples, I'm using G02 and G09. And I'm kind of using a technique where I'm kind of pulling lines or feathering down from the top of the apple and then up from the bottom with whatever color combination I'm using to give the apples a little bit more texture. The apple I just colored ended up being a little darker. I thought all the colors blended a little too much. So I'm gonna color another one with a little bit lighter base next. The bow is kind of a peachy pink with R30, 32, and just a tiny bit of R35. We'll color in the other caramel apple now, and this guy's gonna be a green apple with, again, the same uh, browns on the bottom for the caramel. But I liked how it kind of looks like it's a little boy apple and a little girl apple, and of course with the little hearts coming up, I think this would be a, a fun little card to give. So we're gonna do a little E55 and E57 again for the caramel part. 
I only use two colors. You could definitely go back in with a darker color if you wanted to. After I colored and blended and went back with my lighter color, I finished by going in with my darker color, the E57, and I didn't blend it out that last time. R20 for the cheeks again, because I really like those little pink cheeks. I think they add a lot to the face. And then we're gonna use um, Y00 here for the base of the apple, and then Y18 and Y35. I like that a little bit better. It allows for a little bit more of a highlight on the apple so that it's not quite all the same color as the, uh, the first one I just did. Once I have all of my images colored in, we're going to die cut these with the coordinating caramel apple and thanks a bushel dies. And then we can start working on putting everything together. I've got a scrap of Bristol Smooth cardstock here that I'm gonna ink with Mowed Lawn and Twisted Citron Distress Inks. It's just a little scrap I have and it's gonna go kind of in the middle of the card and it's gonna be the background for the cute little scene we're building today. We're gonna spritz this with water from a Distress Sprayer, blot this dry, it instantly adds a great interest without um, a ton of work, which is one of my favorite things to do. To really make the highlight or the star of the show, these apples on the card, we're gonna kind of frame it up in a different way. And I'm gonna take a piece of smooth white cardstock and we're gonna trim a panel from this. The, first, the top of the card's actually, I think about one and a quarter inches tall. And then the bottom of the card is about two, I think, inches tall. And we're going to add some detail to that with um, the stitched borders die from Lawn Fawn. These stitched borders are a great basic because they instantly add stitching detail or cross stitch detail or dotted detail to whatever cardstock that you want. So rather than die cutting a shape, you can customize anything. In this case, the top and bottom panels of my card are gonna have the stitching detail and we're gonna replace that middle panel with the Distress Inked panel that we just did. So I'm gonna trim that down and we can add the white panel to the top of the card the green distressed panel, and then the white panel on the bottom. Now, I didn't think that my die die cut very straight, um, user error. Really, because it's a long skinny die, a couple pieces of post-it tape or washi tape or whatever you use probably will help keep that in place a lot better. Now, in order to add my sentiment to this, I kind of wanted it to look like a little greeting was coming up from the caramel apples. So we're going to use one of the speech bubble dies. I think this is the second smallest die in this set. And we're gonna die cut that from some smooth white cardstock. And then we are going to stamp our sentiment from the caramel apple stamp set on this using a combination of VersaFine Onyx Black ink and Lawn Fawn Lobster ink to make the word apple red. Then we're simply gonna put it all together. I've adhered the top border, the bottom border, and then the distressed background to my top fold card base. And I've started to adhere my apples, my speech bubble, and I even stamped some little hearts. That little heart there is from the Thanks a Bushel stamp set. I stamped that with VersaFine Onyx Black ink because I'm gonna color those in with a Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker here in a second. Because I used Bristol cardstock here for that Distress Inked panel, I really like how Zigs work on this a little bit better than Copic markers. That's just my personal preference. You definitely could use Copics or whatever you have. Um, so I just grabbed the Carmine Red Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker and I'll color in those hearts. But I wanna build my little scene Here's that marker that I'm gonna color those in. You can see it just goes over the Distress Inked background perfectly. 
lots of nice white space here, grouping everything for maximum impact, taking a black pen and going over the eyes to really make them stand out, taking a white pen and adding highlights to all of the apples and the leaves, and also adding some little dots to the cheeks. A very easy finishing detail for this quick and easy card. Once we have that done, we're gonna die cut the word hello. This is from the Magic Color Slider Die Collection. I love this little hello die. And I am going to die cut it three times from Lawn Fawn Black Licorice cardstock, stack them one on top of another, and place that right there along the top edge of the card. I like to stack them one on top. It's gonna to give it a little bit more dimension, add a little bit more interest to this sentiment. And finally, we will die cut the little red heart from the Speech Bubbles from Chili Pepper Lawn Fawn cardstock and adhere that right there by the hello. I finished it with a layer of glossy accents on that heart and the stamped hearts. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this caramel apple of my eye card featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.